In order to install the ISOVA Optima IWI system, you will need the following components. ISOVA Optima IWI support, ISOVA renovation roll thermal, ISOVA Vario KM duplex membrane, British Gypsum GL1 and GL8 metal profiles. Floor. On the floor, measure and mark a distance of 100 millimeters from the wall. Place the front of the British Gypsum GL8 channel on the mark and fix using appropriate fixings. When fixing to timber floors, fix through the channel into the timber substrate. When fixing into concrete floors, drill through the channel using a masonry drill bit into the concrete substrate. Use Gipliner anchor fixing to fix. Ceiling. As with the floor, mark a distance of 100 millimeters from the wall. Locate the ceiling joists and use appropriate fixings to drill through the channel and into the joist. Wall channel. For the wall channel, measure and mark a line 1300 millimeters from the floor. Position the base of the British Gypsum GL1 channel along the line and drill directly through it into the substrate. Fix using a British Gypsum Gyp Liner anchor. Once the British Gypsum GL1 channel is secure, fit the optimal wall supports into the wall channel at approximately 600 millimeter centers. Additional supports may be required in corners and where full board dimensions are not met. The best way to attach the supports is by positioning the bottom edge on the lip of the GL1 channel, then snap the top of the support in. Once in place, the support can be adjusted into position. Insulation. Once the Optima supports are in place, the insulation can be installed. ISOVA Renovation Roll Thermal has been designed for use in the Optima system. Before removing the ISOVA Renovation Roll Thermal from the packaging, please ensure you're wearing appropriate PPE and the area is adequately ventilated. Unroll the ISOVA Renovation Roll Thermal and cut approximately 10 to 15 mm longer than the ceiling height to ensure a snug fit. Push fit between the floor and ceiling channels. Position the top of the mat flush to the ceiling and behind the ceiling channel and then skewer the mat over the Optima supports. Position the bottom of the mat flush to the floor and behind the GL8 channel. Tuck the mat behind the GL8 channel where necessary. Preparing the studs. Once the insulation is in place, the GL1 stud work can be fitted. The GL1 profile is supplied oversized to allow them to be trimmed to bespoke lengths for all application scenarios. Measure the height of the wall from floor to ceiling and mark the corresponding height against the stud, minus 10 mm to allow for movement and positioning within the floor and ceiling channels. Trim off any excess length using tin snips. Studs may become slightly misshapen during cutting. Square off the ends with a light hammer tap. This allows them to run more freely in the floor and ceiling channels. Attaching the fixing clips to the vertical studs. Once the studs are cut to measure, they are ready to be installed. Locate the groove in the end of the Optima support clip to the lip of the stud at approximately the same height as the wall channel. Snap back the opposite end, keeping the clip in the horizontal position. Position the bottom end of the stud into the floor channel. The stud should be at a slight angle to vertical to allow the top end to be positioned in the ceiling channel. Square the stud vertically and slide the fixing clip into position over the support. Locate the Optima support and then push the fixing clip onto the support. Lock the fixing clip by rotating 90 degrees clockwise. Adjust vertically until plumb using a spirit level. For additional support, when vertically aligned and at correct spacing, secure the top and bottom of studs using a 13mm wafer head screw. This is not critical, but can be applied as an extra measure. 
corner details. For internal corners, additional support is required. Fix the length of British Gypsum GL8 channel to the face of the corner stud to form a 90 degree metal corner profile. Secure the top and bottom of the studs using 13mm wafer head screws. Window details. If the wall includes a door or a window, the metal frame needs to reflect the reveal. This will also provide additional support to the system. Ensure there is a vertical stud, like a British Gypsum GL1 channel, either side of the window and aligned flush with the reveal. Additional support is required for vertical studs within the opening. Fix an additional GL1 channel horizontally approximately 200mm below the sill. On both sides of the opening, the fixing clips are fastened to the side of the vertical stud away from the opening reveal. This is so the thermal laminate board can sit flush against the side of the stud. Cut a section of the GL8 channel approximately 150mm longer at each end than the width of the window. Mark the top of the channel where it passes the vertical stud. Make two cuts to the channel, one on the shorter side in line with the mark, the second on the longer face at an angle of approximately 45 degrees to the mark. Having made the two cuts, bend each end of the channel at 90 degrees and fit around the vertical stud at each side of the opening. Align the support channel with the sill. Secure with two 13mm wafer head screws, one at the top and one at the bottom. To support the opening, cut a length of GL1 channel and apply to the head and below the sill level of the opening. Locate the stud in the reveal and floor and ceiling channel. Secure to the wall channel using an Optima support and lock in place. Level vertically using a spirit level and secure using a 13mm wafer head screw top and bottom. An additional Optima support is only required if the stud length exceeds 300mm. Prior to adding the thermal laminate board to the opening detail, the vario membrane should be added to the wall. Fixing the vario membrane. Apply vario pro tape to the GL8 sealing channel at the top of the wall. Cut a length of vario, ceiling height plus approximately 50 millimeters and apply in vertical length starting from a corner. Fold the sheet in half and push fit to the pro tape. Attach the next vertical strip with a minimum one square overlap, 100 millimetres, of each piece of vario membrane. Seal the overlap using vario KB1 tape. Run a bead of vario DS sealant against the ceiling and floor channels and then seal the vario membrane to the ceiling and floor. Once in place, you can now board out any opening details using a 27mm thermal laminate board to eliminate the risk of cold bridging. Boarding Fix British Gypsum 12.5mm wall board in accordance with standard guidelines.